Now, we welcome for the first time to the cafe the SPCA's Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Anya Dale. Anya, good morning. Good morning. I would love to know what a Chief Scientific Officer does. So I underpin all the work that the SPC, SPCA does with science. So I look after science, research, policy, community and education as well. Oh, wow. And you've brought a little friend along as well. Tell me about this yes. little girl. Yes, this is Gwen. She is about eight years old. She is, uh, she's been seized by an inspector um, a few months ago. She's currently pending prosecution, um, but she is uh, a lovely little girl who was in a really bad state, uh, seized from a hoarder with a number of other dogs. Right, so I guess because they're of, she's the, the dog owner is going to get prosecuted, there's only so much things you can talk about, isn't that's it? That's right, that's what, right. What sort of state was she in when she was seized? In a terrible state of neglect. How would she, what had her living environment been like? She'd been living in a cage her whole life, in a very small cage. Oh, what kind of dog is she? So she is a miniature pincer, but I think there might be a bit of fox terrier in there as well. She looks like an adorable little girl. But she's yes. had a good outcome, hasn't she, because she she's got a good, nice ending to her story. Absolutely. As an eight-year-old, it's good to be able to find a nice home for her. And she's got one? We think her foster family have just adopted her. I tell you what, if she wasn't having a foster family adoption, she'd be coming home with me because that face, she has just been so good in the studio this morning. How many dogs do you have at the SPCA at the moment? At the SPCA in Auckland, we are completely full. We've got no more room for more dogs, so we have just put a half-price adoption special on at the moment. What do you think it is? Why so many dogs at the moment? Uh, we actually have had a number of large cases where the inspectors have had to seize a number of animals so so we're a bit full so we're wanting to uh, move our good dogs out so we've got room for more dogs that need our help. Quite often people think with SPCA dogs that if they've been seized there might be some sort of uh, big brutish dogs or some sort of pit bull cross in there but that's not always the case is it? No we've got a huge variety of breeds we've got dogs like, like when? when we've got a whole lot of Doberman at uh, 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 Dalmatians, a wide variety, large and small. Now tell me too about this education program that you're rolling out in New Zealand schools. Yeah, it's a fantastic program. We're so excited by it. Um, we, the SPCA, decided we wanted to do something to help reduce animal abuse and family violence within New Zealand. So we did some research and found the best way to achieve this was to actually achieve intergenerational change. We wanted to achieve behavioural change and the way to do it is to target seven-year-old to 12-year-old students, have their learnings embedded within the curriculum, so they're taught by the teacher towards the students. The students have a, port, a, a computer portal to access, so do the teachers, mm. um, and it's developed by teachers for teachers. That sounds fantastic. And this is going to be rolled out throughout New Zealand schools? Absolutely. So we're offering it for free for all schools in New Zealand, all um, primary and intermediate schools throughout New Zealand. And we've already had a number already um, registered to use the resources. Teaching empathy for animals at an early age because that does have wide-reaching ramifications doesn't it absolutely empathy compassion animal welfare messages animal care messages fantastic hey, thank you so much for coming in and thank you for bringing Gwen she's You're she's lit up the studio this morning she is just a little divine creature absolutely gorgeous